Uh, a great series uh, for personal reference or for research is the Oxford Very Short Introductions. And uh, these are small books that can fit in your pocket. They're pocket sized. They're usually um, just under or just over a hundred pages. And they're always by a highly qualified um, expert in the, in the subject. They're all about a specific subject and there's hundreds of them on at this point almost every topic under the sun. It's hard to find a, uh, a subject that has not been covered by the very short introduction series by Oxford. There's a good chance you'll be able to get them at your local library. There are hundreds of these titles, um, hundreds of different subjects, and I have just a handful of them here. Here's History of Mathematics. This is what I'm working on right now. It's called Hieroglyphs. It's about the Egyptian hieroglyphics. Earth System Science, the Reagan Revolution, Confucianism, and the Ice Age. So they're all, you know, all over the place, and they're, they're great, they're handy, you really feel like you get a great introduction to the topic. Some of these can go really fast. Uh, so if you sort of have a, a background in something, or if you know a little bit about something, or you, you took a college class on it 10, 15, 20 years ago, and you want a refresher, uh, or you live through something and you want to fill in the gaps. Um, so the Reagan Revolution, for instance, it didn't happen that long ago, uh, in the 1980s. Uh, I was just a little kid then, uh, but this one really sort of let me put in the, the chronology of what happened then. And I was able to read this one pretty fast because it, uh, it, was, a, it was sort of a fast read and I had a little bit of a background in it. Uh, Confucianism, however, this one took more time because this was my first uh, foray into Chinese history. Uh, the most technical one I've read so far is Earth System Science. So this gets into the carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle. So this one did take me some time to get through, but I'm glad I, I got through it. The Ice Age, uh, a wonderful introduction to uh, the Ice Age. This one might be the longest one I've read so far. It's 142 pages, and that's that's the longest Oxford, very short introduction that I've read uh, so far. Uh, with these books, you can pretty easily create a personal research collection. So even just like one shelf uh, of these, you can see how you can see how small these are. But if you uh, had a shelf on a specific subject, if you were really interested in, uh, for instance, uh, British history. There would be several Oxford very short introduction titles that would be related to British history and then you would have basically a really good reference section in your home that you could always refer to or you could take a more encyclopedic route and you could get things that are really varied like Confucianism and Earth System Science um, or more general t titles, more general topics like you could get a, a very short introduction on chemistry, a very short introduction on microbiology, um, a very short introduction to American history. These more sort of general topics and even with just a handful of them you'd have a pretty good ready reference collection. If you read one of these a week and you did that for a year you would have you know over 50 of them read. Uh, there are hundreds of these titles and you can really learn a lot pretty quickly. Everything from algebra to zoology, A to Z, has been covered by the very short introductions. Uh, great series, great authors, uh, highly qualified authors, lots of scholarship, condensed information, fits in your pocket. Another great way to do research your own personal research, your own personal study, unplugged.